Hi, this is Molly with Molly Key Creates and ScrapInTime.com. I wanted to show you how you can create scrapbook layouts like this one using digital cut files. On my site, Molly Key Creates, I have a free resource library that has digital designs that you can download and you can use with your Cricut, with your Silhouette, with Brother Scan and Cut. They also work with the shortcuts a lot. So they come in a zip file with several file types. I'm going to show you how you can download the files, use them, to create your own layout and how to, to change them up so you can create many more layouts that don't all look the same. All right, let's get going. Okay, so let's start creating the layout. So to get the files, we go to mollykeycreates.com and in the top menu bar, click on resource library. The digital files are stored in the library. However, it is a password protected page. So if you do not have the password, Fill out this form with your name and email address and then check your email and the password will be emailed to you. So enter the password and enter. And now you'll be in the library. So the one we want is for the Summer Vibes Layout Digital Files. So select that. And now I'm in the using the Edge browser. And so up here it pops up as Downloads and you want to open file and then you want to extract all and you want to browse to where you want to save it and so I have just going to back up here a second to show you I have a file for the digital downloads and I title it the name of the file so summer vibes Molly Q creates where it came from and personal which is the type of license that it has so I select that folder I highlight it and I select folder and then extract and they're going to open up in there. I already have them saved in there so I'm just going to, I'll hit replace. If I didn't have them saved in there you wouldn't see that message. So now in the Summer Vibes folder you have the files that were downloaded. Now there, these files are saved in several different formats including PNG, SVG, DXF, EPS. So you can use them in a variety of different ways. One tip is if you only want to use it with your Cricut or your Silhouette, you can delete the other file formats. Okay, so let's go back. And so now that we have the files downloaded, we can actually close out of that. And then we can go to Cricut. However, I'm going to show you one other thing is if you use Chrome, when you go to download it, it goes down to the bottom left corner. So there you just click on it. Again, you're going to get the extract browse to where you want on the computer and select the file and then extract. So let's get out of that and open up design, open up Cricut Design Space. So now we'll go to upload. So now we need to upload the images. So right here, upload image and then browse. Now we need to browse on our computer to where they were saved. So they are under digital designs, summer vibes, and we need the SVG one for Cricut Design Space. So let's open that. Now this is the image and we can select upload. So it's always the one that you just uploaded is right is the furthest to the left. Then over here in the right, insert image. Now it's going to show up in your on your canvas. So it is a larger file, so it does take a little bit and it does come in at a size you can cut for a 12 by 24 layout, so a two page layout. So I'm just going to reduce this so it's a little bit easier to see. Now notice everything is selected, so it's all grouped together. I'm going to move it down here so it's not butting up against the top and left edges. First thing I do is unlock it. Now each piece is separate. So now if I need to make any adjustments, I can make it to each piece. I can make titles bigger or smaller. I can hide or delete images. I can change out the photo mats. So if you look through the layers panel on the far left or on the far right, you'll notice that there's a few things that are hid. So you can cut the lenses. Right now I just have it set for the frame and the silhouette so that then you just glue the frame over the, the silhouette of the glasses. The other thing I have, there's an additional to is the stem to the flower. If you don't want the leaves on it, you can cut just the plain stem. But I like the leaves, so I'm going to hide that. 
Now this layout is set for three four by six, a four by four, and a three by four. If you have different file for uh, different photo sizes, you can delete mats, you can duplicate mats. Um, one thing about the grass is that the grass is set at 12 inches. So you can cut it like this. You can go to make it and you're going to get an error. So if you go down to the green mat, it's going to put it on a 12 by 24 inch mat because the 12 by 12 standard Cricut mats only cut, cut up to 11 and a half inches. So it will go to the 12 by 24. If you cut it on the 12 by 24, you still may not get a 12 inch strip of, of grass because if the paper is not placed just right, um, if you put the paper up here in the corner, it'll start cutting here. So then it's going to stop. If your paper goes down to the 12, it's going to cut you know, beyond the paper. Um, and that's fine. That's what I did on my layout. And I just have a white gap on both the left and the right edge. It's just a design look and it's completely fine. If you don't want that, or if you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, you can take the piece of grass and I unlock it. If you don't unlock it, it you can resize it, but it changes proportionally. So it'll get narrower if you get, make it smaller or wider if you get it larger. So I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to slide this in until this number is under 11 and a half. I can do the same thing for this one. The other thing you can do is you can slice it. So you can keep this at 12 inches and to slice it now you will have a seam on it. However, you can make it a small seam so it's not as noticeable. Um, so let's, I just to keep it simple, select a square out of the shapes menu. And so to slice it, you need two, you need the object over the object basically to show you where to make the cut. So if I place the square right here, the cut is going to be right here on this narrow, narrower section of grass. You don't want it to be like this because it's going to make a cut here and here. So then you'll actually have three sections of grass. So just line the square up where you want it. It needs to be more than a half inch in. Then you can click and drag both items, the square and the grass. You need both items selected. And this does only work with two layers. So I couldn't have the other piece of grass down here and do them both at the same time. And then down here in the bottom right menu, select slice. Okay, so now that the slice worked, you can see right here is the section that was cut out. So you can just highlight the square and delete it. Now this, you see it's just another section of the square that you cut out. So just delete that. Now you have two sections of grass. So when you cut it, they'll cut separately and then you can put them together on the page. You can do the same thing for the other section. One other thing I wanna point out about these layouts is that the great thing about the SVG, the digital files, whether it's SVG, DXF, you can manipulate them to however you want. So just to give you a quick example, let's say that you don't want this four by six photo and you want, I'm going to move the grass back here just to give you, just so I have the grass to work with. Let's just move it up. Okay, so now I can move the vibes over here. Let's say I want these photo mats to go lower on the page. I also want my flower to be smaller. So I'm going to group the flower and I did not get the center with that. So let me just try that again. So now you see how it goes behind it. You have to do is go to arrange and send to front. Okay, now let's group that all together. I'm going to make it smaller. And let's duplicate that. Okay, now that it's duplicated, 
we can spread them out. And so what I'm trying to show you here is just different ways that you can use these same files on a completely different layout. So let's move this down. Let's change vibes to green. So any of these items, the, the mats, if you wanted to change up the mats so they're not all hot pink or you know whatever color you're cutting them at, you can change the colors. Let's change that to green. Let's make vibes bigger. And let's take this photo mat and you see I just kind of dragged over both pieces and rotate that. Now I want a summer layout but let's just say I don't want the sunglasses so I can highlight them. I can either hide them in here by clicking on the eye. The other thing I could do is delete them. So now let me rearrange my flowers. Didn't want to move that, so let me uh, select both of them and move that up. And I can, I'm going to make the flowers a little bit smaller so they fit underneath the photos. And now you have a totally different layout using the exact same elements that are on the original file. Okay, so now these are the exact same elements. We took out the sunglasses, we just rearranged it, made the flowers smaller, and rearranged the photo mats, and made the title bigger. can also move this title up. So there are a lot of different possibilities with the digital designs and using them with layouts. You don't have to use them as they were designed. You can certainly make them smaller, bigger. You can cut one page so you could highlight this whole thing, group it together and hide it. And now you have a 12 by 12 layout. And that is how you work with digital files in creating layouts and how you can customize the file and change up the elements to fit the design that you want and the photos that you have for the layout. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.